So now we're gonna have a look at our first of our red grape varieties. I thought we'd start with the Merlot. The soft, lovely soft, smooth, uh, what they call plummy. It's the taste of plums in lots of the books. Parma violets I've seen before. Again, it's not to say that there's been anywhere near a plum tree or any plums in it. That's just the, the, the taste associated with this particular grape variety. It's quite a, it's quite a thin skinned grape variety. So the tannins, which come from the skins uh, during fermentation uh, are lower, which makes it soft and easy to drink. Uh, this particular one comes from Ventiscaro, uh, our, one of our great Chilean producers. And it's a 2009 vintage. Lovely soft um, plummy fruit coming through on the palate. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Soft, easy game, a hint of spice behind it. Absolutely fantastic, really. I would say, what would I drink this with? I'd drink this with um, almost anything because it's it just, because it doesn't have too high tannins, it makes it very easy to drink on its own. So have it with food beforehand, but you can polish the bottle off afterwards, not a problem. The Merlot grape variety is best known, it comes from Bordeaux originally, if you like classically rather than originally, where it's part of a blend. Um, on in the Santa Million side of the river, you get the Merlot predominantly, and on the other side of the river, you get the Cabernet Sauvignon predominantly. Blend the two together, the classic Bordeaux blend for red wines. You come up with something that is better than the sum of the two parts, if you like. But on its own, it produces a lovely soft drinking wine. Um, I would say just drink it on its own. Great.